Hey y'all, Michelle here with My Designs in the Chaos, where it's our goal to develop, encourage, and grow your crafting talent and confidence. Today, we're gonna be creating some beautiful flourishes inside the software program, Eekscape. Flourishes are a really great way to be able to add a little bit of flair and pizzazz to your creations. And so here are a couple flourish examples and we're going to walk you through today how you can create your own one of these. So I'm going to scoot these over to the side so that we have some empty space here on our artboard to be able to create with. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go over here on the left hand side and we're going to click on the draw bezier curves and straight lines tool. Once we have clicked on that we're going to want to make sure that we're here in the spiro path option and we we also want to make sure that our shape is in the ellipse shape. From here is where the fun part happens. So what we're going to do is I'm going to start off and I'm just going to click one time on my artboard. And when I click that one time, that's going to give me a starting point. From here, I'm going to go ahead and just bring it down just a little bit and I'm going to click again. Once you click that second time is where you're going to start to see the line start curving and connecting. And so now is where the fun comes in. You just start to keep kind of clicking and that's where you'll create these beautiful curves. Once you have the curve looking exactly the way that you want, you can come back over here, click on your arrow tool, and then it will pop up into formation. Now, the cool part about this is once you have that little flourish drawn, you can actually click on the edit path by nodes option. And here you can individually adjust any of the nodes that you would like. You just click on those little gray dots. Those are nodes and you can move those around. The other cool thing is at the very beginning, you see this little white circle. If you click on that white circle and drag it out, you'll notice it will actually make the flourish thicker. Or if you bring it in, it'll make it thinner. Now I want to caution you if you're making these for a cutting machine you don't want them too thin or they'll be really difficult to cut but that's kind of a fun way to be able to add some different flavor to each one of the flourishes. Now from here if you want to add another layer, we're going to click back on our Bezier Curves and Straight Lines tool. I like to refer to it as the pin tool and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to click again and I'm going to click and then click and you just kind of start clicking until it starts taking the shape of what you want it to look like. Once you have done your very last click there, you're gonna go back up here to your arrow tool or you can use the shortcut S on your keyboard and you'll see it will pop up and come to life. Now from there, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click on my edit path by nodes tool and I'm gonna pull this one up just a little bit and I'm gonna go over here to that white circle and I'm going to make this one thinner because I want it to kind of complement the other one. And so, and then I'm going to pull this node down. And that's the really cool part is you can make these look however you want them to look. And so from here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on my Bezier Curves and Straight Lines tool. And I might want to have another one kind of curling up right here throughout the middle of these. And so maybe I make this one kind of curl around this way like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on my arrow tool and then I can see it. And then I can also click again on that line and I can adjust it and move it around. So if I want it to look like it's kind of coming out of this original one here, I can move it up and do that. I can also click here on my edit path by notes, click on that little white circle. And again, I could make it thicker or I can make it thinner, whatever your personal preference is. And so I think I'm going to do one more curve down here across the bottom just to kind of finish this off a little bit. So I'm going to make it curve over here. Again, I'm just kind of clicking my mouse into the shape that I want it to go. And then I'm going to click on my arrow tool. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say edit path by nodes. And I'm going to make this one a little bit skinnier. And then I'm going to adjust a couple of these nodes, kind of move them around a little bit here. And that's where you can really just personalize this and make it start looking the way that you want by moving those around. And I'm gonna move this one over just a little bit to the inside and I'm gonna make it a little bit thinner just so it kind of complements it there on the bottom. 
And I want you to get in there and have some fun with it because you can really just make some beautiful curves here. And so I'm gonna actually scoot this one up so that it follows the curve a little bit better and make this circle a little bit bigger. And then I might, I said I know, I know I said it, that was gonna be my last one, but I think I'm gonna do one more coming up here off the top. And so just kind of curl another little one right up here across the top. I'm going to click on my arrow tool, and then I'm going to go to Edit Path by Nodes, and I'm going to kind of move them around. And then I'm going to go down here to that white circle. I'm going to make it a little bit thicker. And then I'm actually going to angle this one a little bit. And we're going to make it where it's coming out of this one over here instead of the original. And so you can really start to layer these and make um, all kinds of beautiful designs. Now, before you end up actually turning this into an SVG, there's one more thing that we need to do because as of right now, if you'll notice, they're all single line nodes. It would only cut one single line. And what we're gonna do is we need to select all of these and we need to go right up here to path and click on stroke to path. And now it'll cut the entire outline instead of just the single line. The last thing that we need to do is rather than having each of these its own individual piece, we need to go ahead and click on path union. And now we've got one beautiful flourish. And so as you can see, every time you make one of these, it might be a little bit different. So go play, have some fun creating some of your own flourishes. If you have a question, make sure to leave a comment below. Then make sure to head over to our free Facebook community and show us what you're putting your flourishes on. We would love to see what you're creating and connect with you a little bit more. Until next time, I encourage you, stop just collecting and start actually creating. And remember, there's no wrong way to craft. We'll see you back next time. Bye.